Warning, the following video contains explicit language which may be offensive to some viewers or inappropriate for children. The content within this video is intended for mature audiences only. Every single day you ain't gonna be able to turn a station on without hearing me. How dare you? You just opened the door for your own karma. Looks like somebody got your girl pissed and we're in for a crying fest. And you're about to find out all about why. In this week's episode of Big Mad, episode 13, Candace Starr, When Karma Strikes. People like to pick on people that's doing the right thing. Don't worry, she ain't talking about me this time. <laughs> My hubby said don't even speak about it because they don't even exist. You know, kind of like her psychic powers. <laughs> <sighs> I'm so mad. Yeah, Big Mad to be exact. <laughs> Why? Why? Like, you have to be grown ass men, and you're sitting here attacking a woman who is doing right by her children over an injury that I have no control over. Now, here's your girl Candace trying to play spin doctor. See, to give you a full background on what's happening here, Candace was getting drugged over the internet because of the Kelly Rodney case. Because she's just dragging the shit through the mud and making a complete shit show out of the situation. But she's trying to make it out like people were just making fun of her for being a mother or her voice. Check it out. Now, if I was a shitty ass mom, I could understand you attacking me. But I proved myself over and over and over. Unless she's online grifting off the dead, then the child gets ignored and shit like this happens. Yeah. Uh, 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 I'll get your leg off of there. Now instead of sitting back down eating her yogurt going back to a live stream, she should have got up and took care of the kid because then this wouldn't have happened. You hurt yourself? I told you, that's why it's safe. Don't do it like that. Hold on, let me check her. You see, for all that, she could have just sent the baby down to Nia's. Babysit. I don't stoop the two-year-old's levels. I'm a whole grown woman, not a fucking kid. I had to do it. And you picked the one thing that I'm most precious, like I care most about. And since her daughter is the most precious thing she possesses, it'd be fucked up if somebody was talking about her. Dude, I'm not talking about my children, I'm talking about singing. You. Damn. Well, I guess we see where her priorities are. Singing first, children second. <laughs> You say I have to prove that I won a scholarship? I won that because I won it. Like, I didn't expect to win it, but I did. And normally when people win stuff like that, they usually frame it up and put it on the wall because, you know, so important. So she should just be able to go out in the living room and show it to you, right? And if you want to go talk to Miss Cheryl, you can. I'm not proving nothing to you. My babes know what it is. And just like all the info she ever puts out, she's not going to show you any proof to shit she says. And why do I got to prove anything to anybody when you're sitting there calling me names? See, whenever Candace is called out, she always does this crying routine. And she'll come up with any reason why she doesn't have to show the proof. Just to gain some money from herself. <laughs> you're going to say, oh... She, she don't got no vocal injury, prove it. You are not going near anything of me to prove anything to you. What the hell is wrong with this Goofy? Why does she always have to be so dramatic like somebody wants to cause harm to her or something? Oh, and I call BS that she won a full scholarship from <laughs> Well, I did, surprise. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna get more into the scholarship later into the video because it's hilarious. So, you know, I am a mother, I am a friend, I am a sister, I am so much more than just my voice. Yeah, she forgot to add fraud, scammer, and liar. Because <laughs> I don't even know these people. I've, I've never, I don't talk shit about nobody unless you open the door for it, meaning, you know. Somebody dies and you throw yourself in, in the situation immediately. You understand? So I guess she's going to start looking in the mirror and talking shit on herself. Because as soon as somebody dies, she's the first person to start talking about them. I don't just go after people. People just love coming after me because I got subscribers and they don't understand how I got it. It's called hard work. It must be really hard to get off your couch, turn on your webcam and scam off the dead all day. What a goofy. 
making fun of my looks. Like, what are we in preschool? <laughs> Fucking magnetic. And judging by that, she should be the last person talking about people being in preschool. <laughs> I didn't call me, you know, the cloud chaser or whatever you want to fucking call it. Am I using nobody else's channel to make views? No, instead she's just using people's dead relatives for views. What a clown. And my hubby's gonna be mad at me because I went online anyways. He wasn't too upset when she grifted her audience in the pan their electric bill. I mean, I would have thought he would have been real mad at the fact that his wife is still carrying on a relationship with the ghost of her dead boyfriend. <laughs> I want I spray painted this chalkboard here. That's it. That's the culprit, okay? I didn't know I was supposed to wear a mask. I never spray painted a day in my life, okay? And apparently nobody ever taught her how to read directions. Since on every can of spray paint, it told you to wear a mask and use it in a well-ventilated area. What a goof. And... It burnt me in my nose. It burnt me all the way down my esophagus onto my vocal cords. <laughs> she must think everybody's as dumb as she is. See, there's no need for you to buy into any of this. Whenever she gets called out on her singing, she always has a different reason to why she can't sing anymore. Listen to this one. I've been singing my whole life, okay? It's always been in my blood, but right now, the last two weeks, I have had the worst asthma attacks every single morning. I lost my voice. I have bronchitis. And then when she was called out a little bit later, this is what she said. Seven years ago, I was in a domestic violent relationship, and that was for seven years. And he broke my eardrum on the left side two times. He broke my eardrum on the right side once. He dislocated my jaw. He cracked my skull. Okay, so it's like I couldn't sing for five years. And to think, she made that person a spirit guide. And as far as her excuses on why she can't sing, she got plenty more. But we'll say those for other videos. <laughs> They're like, oh, I don't believe that she couldn't speak for eight months. All you do is got to go to my videos. I was literally speaking like this in all of my videos because I had no voice. <laughs> this woman lies through her teeth. Do what she said. Go to her channel. Go back eight months. Watch her videos. And you'll find videos like this where she speaks perfectly fine. Like two or three videos. I'm not sure how many yet. But I did one already. This is our second video. And as you can see, this goofy voice was perfectly fine. So why is she telling her subs and you guys? I was literally speaking like this in all of my videos because I had no voice. <laughs> You're looking at the face of a whole goofy. I need to spend more time with my children. Well, one of my children are grown. They're grown. She's not a child no more. She has a child. I'm a grandma. You're disrespecting a grandmother, a woman, a mother. You're disrespecting me. I mean, is she talking about herself? Because every time somebody dies, she goes out of her way to disrespect their mother. Did your mom have anything to do with that night that you passed away? But tell me, she got multiple sources of income because of what happened from Kanika. It, she's saying she got paid from the hotel, like under the table, to, to keep it hush. Um, and she's showing me when she was saying nothing happened to my daughter. Remember that? That's because she got some money. She's saying that also um, Bill Murray himself has donated money to her. And there she goes blaming Teresa Martin for playing a part in her daughter's death. Knowing full well Miss Martin is a- Grandmother, a woman, a mother, you're disrespecting. For what? Because you don't believe what I believe? So the fuck what? There she goes playing spin doctor again. You see, people are mad at her because she went out of her way to make this video where she proceeded to blame the family of Kylie Rodney for being involved in her death. Check it out. So apparently I'm being attacked because I'm disrespecting Kylie's mother, okay? Um, but you got me twisted, honey. No, everybody knows she's a fraud and a liar. <laughs> Lindsay herself, 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 okay? Has herself, that's right, has said that she's known that Kylie has been drinking since at least 15 years old. A lot of teenagers go behind their parents' back and drink. It's nothing new. Doesn't mean their parents allow them to do it. You're gonna sit here and try to attack me because I don't have sympathy for somebody who allows their child 
to drink and do drugs? Now, since she doesn't know these people at all, nor if she ever met any of them, how does she know they allowed her to do anything? And I should be roasted? Are you kidding me? And if you guys want to see that epic video, go check out the channel Morbid Reality, because it was fucking hilarious. Because I'm not hurting nobody. All I'm pointing out is what they've said out their own mouth, what Sammy has said out her own mouth, and what Lindsay has said out her own mouth. And since that's all I'm doing to Candace, her nor her minions should get upset about this video. She knew her daughter has been drinking since the age of 15. For all we know, it could have been 13. And since the mother never said that, now she's just putting shit in the mother's mouth to fit her narrative. I don't care how many gaslighters and narcissistic motherfuckers you are from Truckee. You ain't gonna do that to me. And if you do, my babes will see this. And you're not gonna get the attention you actually were looking for. Trust me. <laughs> her babes. The only thing they're gonna do is show up to your comment section under troll accounts with no content crying over the shit you say about Candace. Yeah, her babes can fuck off. Seriously, I don't bother nobody. Except the families of all the dead people she exploits for money. Half the time I don't even watch the hate videos. There your girl goes lying again. She runs around striking hate videos all the time. Yeah, I didn't know, Team Angel, I didn't know. I've never spray painted a day in my life. I didn't know. Trust me, if I would've known, I would've going through this I wouldn't have even made the damn thing. Okay, I would have never did it. If somebody put Black Candace, don't do that. It's going to mess up your voice. I would have never did it. No, I didn't know. I swear this Goofy's fake crying routine is the worst acting I've ever seen in my people, life. How dare you do this to the people? I'm sorry. But um, how many of you have I helped? You can hear mice fucking. You sure can. Because the only person she's ever helped was herself. To all of her subscribers' money. Nicole, oh, she's a tragedy pimp. Look, she's getting money now. No, my babies did that because they wanted to. This fraud literally just fooled her subs into paying her quote unquote electric bill. What a goofy. Oh, prove your disability to me. Uh, uh, you don't hear that scar tissue? I mean, it was kind of hard to hear over all the lies that are coming out of her mouth. <laughs> I am gonna heal. It might take a few years, and I've done this before. I mean, who could forget when the spirits downloaded the powers into her to heal people, right? I got a new gift. Long story short, I got a new freaking gift. Um, I'm gonna be healing traumas. I'm gonna be healing deep rooted traumas. I could see you in my mind's eye and I was healing every freaking thing. And I don't understand it, but I'm with it. If I could heal you, I'm gonna heal you. So you would think healing herself from a few chemical burns from huffing paint would be no problem, right? <laughs> what a goofy. And I got my eardrums ruptured from domestic violence because of bully men. Which again begs the question of, why would she let this bully be her spirit guide, right? Okay. <laughs> It took me five years to hear correctly again. But I can do it again. If I did it the first time, I could do it again. And I'm gonna make sure you hear me every day singing on radio. I'm gonna make sure of it. And now she's on here threatening people. <laughs> every single day, you ain't gonna be able to turn a station on without hearing me. How dare you? You just opened the door for your own karma. Again, she needs to be referring to herself. Everybody want to do hate videos. Meanwhile, I don't do shit. <laughs> I, I mind my fucking business unless you open the door for it. And what I mean by opening the door for it is if your child goes missing or your child ends up dead because of neglect. Because of neglect. And that's it. And as you saw earlier in the video, your girl's an expert when it comes to neglect. You hurt yourself? I told you. That's why I say don't do it like that. You ain't got no real channels, but you want to jump on a bandwagon. <laughs> Don't even know the bandwagon you're jumping on. You mean like Candace when she jumped on a paranormal bandwagon? Because she had no idea what the fuck she was talking about. And if you need proof, check this out. All you got to do is go to her channel, look at her oldest videos, and you'll see it for yourself. You're going to see nothing but doll making, singing, and family stuff. Until Kanika died. And then just magically overnight, your girl woke up and just started looking up EVP devices on her phone and started talking to ghosts. So, I'm 
I'm looking at ghost communicators and I have one on my app. And it just turned on by itself, I swear. I don't report people. I'm not gonna take their channel down for using my content. I'm not doing all that. I'm not wasting my energy. Your girl full of shit. She done struck at least two of my videos. Then went out of her way to tell her audience that she called the cops on me. Knowing full well she was full of shit. I called the police because I am basically going to, hey guys, um, file a report. I'm gonna file a report um, for being cyber harassed and bullied and all that good stuff. And if you're wondering why you can't find that video on Candace's page, it's because she took it down, because she knew she was caught in a lie. And if you're wondering why you can't find it on my page, it's because she struck it down. You know, since she says, I don't report people. I'm not gonna take their channel down for using my content. Absolutely. It's just gonna push me harder. It's just gonna push me harder and I promise you, my next goal is so that you guys hear me on the radio no matter what station you turn it on to. I'm gonna make sure all my haters have to hear me. All of them, every day. Looks like she's the one doing the cyberbullying right now. <laughs> every single day, every time you go to turn your, you're not gonna be able to listen to no more music. You are not. Yeah, because what she does is definitely not music. Besides, she's too busy pimping tragedies. It's not a tragedy pimp. Okay, we gotta pause the crying fest for a second. Because your girl is definitely the biggest tragedy pimp on this whole platform. Remember when DMX died? Okay, just a little disclaimer before I show you the video that's about to play. Um, I did not know DMX passed away at the same time. I did this EVP. This EVP was not meant to reach out to him, but have my spirit guides, you know, guide him back home here. That's right, people. DMS was dead less than a minute, and your girl sent her abusive ex-boyfriend, Vinny, and Kanika's spirit to go bring him back to her house. And if you think that's crazy, then you're gonna love how your girl pimped this situation, because here recently, the rapper Takeoff just got murdered. And instead of his spirit just leaving Earth, he had to make a stop at Candace's house. Check this shit out. Now before I play the video, ask yourself this question. If she's not a tragedy pimp, why is there a paid promotion included with this video? I sit here for 10 hours a day. Yes, I'm gonna monetize my time. Don't bother trying to find that video. She took it down. <laughs> so I was asked if I could do a reading on Kershnik Ball, AKA Takeoff. Yeah, nobody asked her to do anything. As soon as she heard the news, your girl threw on her wig, grabbed her psychic starter kit, and went live. I have to download our old friend, the Necrophonic. You know, the app that was in the terms of service tells you it's for entertainment purposes only. I haven't used the Necrophonic in so long, but we're gonna do this. And now she's gonna switch on her magic box and a bunch of lights to make it look like she's doing something. And why is she advertising the Blair Witch in the background? <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Hunter Killer. What the fuck? Does this bitch really put the ghost on hold so she can do a commercial in the middle of a reading? And she's not a tragedy pimp? Get the fuck out of here. Are you obsessed with murder, mystery, and paranormal activities? Well, you'll love Hunter Killer. Hunter Killer has absolutely captivating and authentic games created by a talented team, creators, writers, artists, and game designers. And if you notice all the jump cuts in this commercial, it's because your girl can't read and she gotta keep saying the words and pausing the camera. Still found a way to keep it affordable with different prices and game styles. Available like single part mysteries, multi part mystery. Okay, enough of the grifting. Let's get to the videos. Hello? Hello? Hi. Vinny, Kanika. See what I mean? Your girl got spirits on speed dial. Can we bring through takeoff? Well, since she's literally just sitting in a room talking to herself, I'm sure she can bring through whatever the fuck she wants. Take. They take what? life, yeah. Nice to see they're still using slang in the afterlife. What a goofy. Are you okay? And if you think asking the ghosts if they're okay is the dumbest thing you've heard, you ain't got to the end of this video yet. Arsenic? 
I just have one more question. Hold on, let me stop it for a second. What does she mean, let me stop it for a second? What if this so-called spirit is trying to say something important, right? <laughs> okay, I just have one question. And do you feel like you were set up by anybody for that specific night? And here's Candace up to her old tricks again, trying to turn something into a conspiracy. <laughs> Don't worry, she's okay. She's just having one of her goofy spasms. <laughs> Why is your last music video so similar to your death? And there she goes, just plain making shit up. Did you not want to sign again with the Amigos? There she goes, setting up her conspiracy for later on. It wasn't like blood in, blood out? And there she goes again, blaming the people closer to the victim for their demise. We'll get more to that video in the future, but let's get back to the crime fest. So you know how much singing s means to me, so you attack that. But it's perfectly okay for her to attack everybody else with her singing, but listen to this. Sounds like a demonic presence to me. <laughs> and this sounds like a demonic presence to me. I just wanna give a shout out to the lovely Cheryl Porter. Mama Cheryl, thank you so much. Because people don't even believe that you would be so nice to give me a full scholarship, not a half scholarship. She gave me a full scholarship to every single lesson she has available. And I thank you for that. Now, now as soon as I heard her say scholarship to lessons, I went, what type of school is this that she's bragging about a scholarship? So I went and looked into it. And boy, was this shit goofy. Now, remember at the beginning of the video when your girl was asked to show proof of the scholarship and she was all like, I'm not proving nothing to you. My babes know what it is. Yeah, there's a good reason why she didn't want to prove anything. Because she's bragging about bullshit. Because where most people would brag about getting a scholarship to a prestigious college for music, your girl Candace took a different approach. And she found her singing school while watching The Ellen Show. And just like an ad scene on TV ad, your girl got ripped the fuck off. Cut this school is goofy as fuck. Check this shit out. World Voice Day is just around the corner, and with the help of Ellen DeGeneres, I'm going to be awarding 10 full scholarships to my online singing course for life. <laughs> That's right, online singing course. Meaning, your girl got a scholarship to watch a bunch of YouTube videos. Start doing those vocal warm ups and. <laughs> yeah, she's really wearing boxing gloves. That's part of her teaching method. Because <laughs> your girl's physically going to hit those high notes. <laughs> Send me those videos and maybe I'll see you in class. Yeah, by class, she means your living room. <laughs> but the shit gets even funnier because I found the video Candace didn't want you to see when your girl Cheryl announced the winners. Check this shit out. Please stay tuned to the end of the video because there's gonna be a big surprise. Yeah, you're gonna love the surprise. <laughs> I can't wait to announce these winners because I'm so excited. Here we go. Notice she said winners. Cause your girl Candace likes to make it out like she just won this big contest on her own. Yeah, a bunch of goofies won this. Check it Those out. Welcome would be waiting. Do not think of it at all. Winter, spring, summer, or fall. Etico de mamele. The unreachable star. In silence. <laughs> and there she is, everybody. Miss Full Scholarship. And if you haven't noticed, nobody on this list can sing for a shit. And that's for a reason. Because this whole thing is a big grift to get over on a bunch of goofies. Check this shit out. Now I'm going to announce a special surprise where I'm also going to be awarding 10 partial scholarships to another 10 singers. So, surprise! Yeah, surprise. Any goofy could have won this contest. All you had to do was send in the video. You want to win either way, because that's how she sucks. She win. Check this out. As seen on Ellen, Ellen Miss Cheryl went on Ellen. Okay, and Ellen gifted her ten thousand dollars. Now she didn't give us ten thousand dollars. Of course she didn't. She wasn't gonna fuck her bag up. But what she did do was she chose ten people to have a full scholarship to her classes. Okay. 
So this woman got 10 grand from Ellen to let these goofies watch her video for free. Well, almost for free. I started the big boom. I had actually bought that. <laughs> I bet she did. And just like every other drug dealer, you get the first one free. And the funny thing is, I found somebody else that graduated from the singing school. Some say I'm a lucky grifter. Some say I'm the king. They call me the lucky grifter. <laughs> and if you're wondering, that's the school song. So congratulations, winner! Yeah, for falling for a scam. And I bet when she got that money from these goofies, she was all like, Thank you, Ellen! Yeah, shout out to Ellen for funding goofies around the world. <laughs> Whenever she makes something new, I'll get that too, forever. Because just like a junkie, once you're hooked, you're hooked for life. <laughs> I've never been a liar. Yeah, and that's not a stripper pole in the background, right? <laughs> that is not a stripper pole, it's a fitness pole. <laughs> something she clearly doesn't use for fitness, since she cramps up every time she tries to sing. Ah, my, my, No, that ain't no joke. Oh my God. <sighs> oh, no. <laughs> You're looking at the face of a whole goofy. Whatever, I cried it out, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she just used her power of healing to heal the cramps. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure, you know, I, I usually don't follow people back, but I swear ever since I met Miss Patty Lynn, I follow everybody back now. <laughs> Don't you love that evil little cackle of hers? The only reason she follows Miss Patty back is because she was gullible enough to send them money. Check it out. I want to thank all the babes that ended up sending me money, um, especially Miss Patty. And trust, when I thought she got those dumbasses to actually pay her bills, I was all like. <laughs> now after she was done with this crying fest, your girl went back to her old routine of bashing the mother of the victim again. Funny thing is, something funny happened in her life. Check this out. Let's call it for what it is. Jagger, a groomer. Jagger, a narcissist. Sammy, a narcissist. Sammy, an attention freak. Sammy, a drug addict. Now mind you, she doesn't know or have met any of these people in real life. Yet she's the first person to come online and start crying saying shit like, I don't talk shit about nobody. <laughs> Unless you open the door for it. And that's coming from the person that put herself into these people's business. What a goofy. Sammy, a privileged little white girl. Jagga, a privileged little white boy. Jagga, Sammy, a privileged trucky resident. The trucky way, right? I'm not gonna shut the fuck up. I'm not. And at this point, I was in her chat. And when I heard her say that, I called her out. And look what happened. I'm not. And if you notice, it's real quiet. Because when your girl read that message, if you look in the upper right corner, she stopped that live real quick. And she jumped right off. Why? Because like I said before, when you call these frauds out, they ain't got shit to say. But don't think her grip stopped there. Because the content guards blessed up with a treat. Because your girl went and got reinforcements. And her and the queen are going to be back next week in episode two of Candace Star's Psychic Goofy Network. But for right now, that's where I'm going to end this episode. I hope you had a good time. I hope you like, share, and subscribe. If you want to help the channel out, hit the cash app for your boy. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Sit there and badmouth them for hours upon hours like they badmouth me. Then I'm just as bad. And I am not giving off love and light then. Then I'll be being a demon. I want to thank all the babes that ended up sending me money. I sit here for 10 hours a day. Yes, I'm gonna monetize my time. Is I doing those vocal warm-ups?